Alhamdulillah, I want to remind myself and all of you about some of the traps of Satan in front, behind, on our right hand side and then also our left hand side. Allah Azza wa Jal already warned us about these traps on the tongue of the one who set these particular traps against us. قَالَ فَبِمَا أَغْوَيْتَنِي قَالَ فَبِمَا أَغْوَيْتَنِي لَأَقْعُدَنَّ لَهُمْ صِرَاطَكَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ ثُمَّ ثُمَّ لَآتِيَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ وَعَنْ أَيْمَانِهِمْ وَعَنْ شَمَائِلِهِمْ وَلَا تَجِدُ أَكْثَرَهُمْ شَاكِرِينَ وَلَا تَجِدُ أَكْثَرَهُمْ شَاكِرِينَ Our bitterest and plain and most manifest enemy, that is Satan, told Allah Azza wa Jal after being very aware that out of his arrogance, Allah Azza wa Jal has distanted him from his mercy. And Allah Azza wa Jal has distanted him from his guidance, so he tells Allah Azza wa Jal, Fabima Agawaiteni, because you have put me in error, you have distanted me far away from your mercy and from your guidance. La aqudanna lahum siratakal mustaqim. Then I am going to find some strategic soft points on the straight path, and I will lie down in waiting. For the believers because that is the only place i can find the believers i can find the believers on the sirat al-mustaqim i can find the believers in the mosque i can find the believers in the performance of all kinds of good deeds generosity mercy and so forth and so on in any good character i seek to set a trap over there and when i'm going to set the trap ثُمَّ لَآتِيَنَّهُمْ I am going to set the trap in such a way that مِنْبَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ It will be manifest to them that this is the trap of Satan. If they have the eye, they have the knowledge to recognize that this is the trap of Satan, then what I'm going to do is that وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ I am going to hide trap in a way that they can't even see it. Then if they are able to also sense that there is something behind then وَأَنْ أَيْمَانِهِمْ I am going to also put it on their right hand side in things that are beneficial to them in the achievement of their own aim and their own vision things that are beneficial to them I still go there and hide my traps inside over there وَأَنْ شَمَائِلِهِمْ and if there are even things that are not beneficial to them on their left hand side I'm still going to hide my traps over there. Then, one of the manifestation of the fact that they have fallen into that particular trap and they are within the catchment of my trap will be that Wala Tejidu, you are not going to get Akfarahum, plenty of them, Shakirin. You are never going to get them to be grateful. You are never going to get them to be thankful to you, Allah Azza wa Jal. The great trap of Satan is those traps that Satan seek to use through those particular traps to destroy very important resources that God Almighty Allah has given to us. Very important resources that God Almighty Allah has given to us like time, Whatever resource we have, if we don't have time, then we cannot put that particular resource into usage. And Satan has different ways of spoiling this particular resource. Another very important resource, which is also our mind, we feed it with knowledge that Satan will seek to destroy this particular resource, our mind. Satan has several traps and one of the most dangerous traps that Satan uses 
in destroying our time, in destroying our mind, and uh, the factory of our desires in order to control our behavior and our character, which is also our heart. One single resource that Satan uses in destroying these three resources is the internet. Internet and technology, they are just like river that contains water that we need to use that particular water which is the source of our life to refresh our body. The best and the best way of actually making use of that particular river would have been us having a cup to fetch from that particular river, regulate the amount that we are going to put in our mouth, regulate the amount that we are going to drink so that we don't end up getting drawn in that particular water but unfortunately these days through technology we jump direct into the river and then we begin to drink and over drink and get drawn inside the river completely and we lose our spirit and the essence of using the internet through the internet so many of us are falling into the traps of pornography through the internet so many of us are falling into the traps of masturbation and so forth and so on to the level that the way the internet should have benefited us unfortunately the little that it will benefit you beyond that one it destroys these key resources that i have mentioned it destroys your time it destroys your mind your intellectual factory it also destroys your heart, your emotional factory. And for that matter, before you realize, the internet becomes technology, becomes more harmful than it would have been the beneficial to us. Looking at the internet carefully, we see that when you enter into the internet, from left and right, front and back, all the mediums through which we would have sought to get information through the internet satan in one way or the other would seek to plant something that will actually taint our image that will taint our soul before we come out of what the internet the internet has become a medium of sexual promiscuity a medium of showcasing of nakedness and uh, a medium of actually marketing and advertising all kinds of vices that maybe we might have not have even seen not to talk of even thinking about it but then we get stimulated and we get actually encouraged to embark on such vices through the internet yes it's a medium of getting information it's a medium of enriching our ideas just like when i tell you that if you have been presented with the milk and then the milk as pure as it is and white i just tell you that one drop of poison that just falling into what the milk you will lose the appetite for it completely as muslims god almighty allah tells us that wala taqrabu zina وَلَا تَقْرَبُوا الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاحِشَةً God Almighty has given us our conscious mind and has also used the conscious mind to actually guide our emotional and desire center which is our heart so that anytime our heart wants to seek for something that is in contradiction to the teachings and regulation of God Almighty Allah, that is of devoid of divine guidance, our mind will actually remind us, our mind will throw light on our way, will furnish us with knowledge, will furnish us with information in order to get us well guided. But unfortunately, there are certain things that weakens the power of the mind and uh, to some extent will even shut it down completely 
and we leave our heart prone to certain powerful emotions that our heart will also lack the little guidance it has in it the little power of control it has in it it will completely give it up to what our soul and we know the way our soul is if we are not carefully the soul will get us tilted into embarking on that which is not what good so Allah Azza wa Jal tells us any step at all that you will take that will break that particular security door that God Almighty Allah has given to you that is the mind God Almighty Allah prohibits that particular steps. Let us remember that one of the maqasid sharia, that is one of the pillars of sharia, is to protect what? The mind. Is to protect our intellectual faculty. And one of the things that emotionally will break our intellectual faculty is zina. That matter, God Almighty Allah warns us don't even go closer not to talk of your mind trying to guide you at that particular moment don't go closer to zina why because because zina indeed itself is what immorality and uh, is an evil way i can zina psychologically and physiologically to our immune system once secretly satan is able to push you down to commit this particular act anytime you are outside and you come across any temptation the entry of a spiritual disease that your body lymphocytes your body system that would have fought against this particular spiritual entry the disease that your immune system should have fought against it zina destroyed this particular immune system completely your system and your ability to say no your ability to say you won't commit it zina completely breaks this particular system down and for that matter God Almighty Allah says, What an evil way was a Sabila. Most of the communities and societies and civilizations that will go against the teachings of Islam, that will open their doors to immorality. When you look at it carefully, that which breaks the mind and that which breaks our emotion, definitely you see that it's been promoted. Alcoholism, music, and dancing and also zina is being promoted 